In today's video, we're checking out a potentially resealed scam box. What is up everybody? We are back with another opening and today we have a box that I think could potentially be resealed. If you guys remember the $20,000 collection we bought maybe two, three weeks ago, you can go check it out if you guys missed it. There was one box in there that I didn't feel great about. I didn't check it out when we bought the, the collection, unfortunately. I wasn't, you know, there was a lot of stuff. So I didn't look at this as closely as I should have. And once I got it back to the studio and I'm looking at it under all the lights and everything, I was like, oh, don't feel amazing about this. The guy I bought from, everything else was legit. So this was obviously not an intentional scam because it was a, such a small part of the collection. And it's not like he was scamming me. He probably got scammed and then was selling the box at some point. Or it's legit and I'm just wrong. Um, so we're going to check it out today. I didn't want to sell it to anybody. And if it is legit, we'll just open up the box today. So you might get a Labyrinth the Nightmare opening booster box, which is going to be pretty exciting. I hope that's what happens instead of a scam box, but I'm not 100% sure. But before we get into that, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these two elemental hero cards. We have Thunder Giant and Shining Flare Wingman. So these are pretty close, pretty clutch cards. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications and let me know down below. I, I would say if it's a scam or not, but you're going to know based on the thumbnail, probably. Um, <laughs> so uh, let's just say, what do you like in Labyrinth of Nightmare? And I guess you could comment on the scam or not scam, depending on what happens. And speaking of subscribing, guys, we are literally racing to 250. Like, it is insane how fast we are going. We are going to be at 250K, like, in a matter of weeks at this point. I thought it was going to be, like, early next year, late this year before we got there. And all of a sudden, boom, you guys have been subscribing like crazy. So you guys are killing it. Hit that subscribe button. Let's get there ASAP because I'm planning some really cool stuff for 250. And, and you know we're opening every pack at the end of that week. So it's going to be absolutely amazing. I cannot wait. Uh, let's try to get there, you know, I guess even right after the Mega Tens, who knows? This video is sponsored by Whatnot. Guys, I am hitting 15,000 Whatnot followers coming up this week. And because that is an awesome milestone on Whatnot, I decided we do something crazy. We're gonna be opening 24 packs of the Duelist Genesis live on Whatnot this Thursday at 5 p.m. Central. And if you don't know the significance of first set Duelist Genesis, they cannot be pulled out of booster boxes, at least in the USA. I know there's some weird stuff going on in Europe, but in the USA, there's no first edition packs unless you get them from tins or pre-release packs. And these packs came out all the way back in 2008, so they're really, really hard to find now. And if you do get lucky and pull that Ghost Rare Stardust and get a PSA 10 on it, you might have a $20,000 card. So if that sounds like a fun opening to you, make sure you check out Whatnot down below. And oh wait, did I forget to mention something? We're giving away a Ghost Rare Stardust Dragon in the live stream. This card right here could be one of yours. All you have to do is go follow me down below, get your $15 free credit if you are a new user, and then show up at the stream at 5 p.m. Central on Thursday, where I will be giving it away to one random viewer. You don't have to buy anything to win that card. There will also be another nine giveaways that you could potentially win, so keep an eye out for those. Make sure you go follow down below. This is going to be one of our best streams ever. If we pull that Ghost Rare Stardust, maybe one of my best pulls ever. Thanks again to Whatnot for sponsoring this video. So here's what I don't like about the box. The wrapping is too clean. It's like super tight. It's super clean, which you would think, oh, but that means that the uh, the box looks good, right? Like the box looks legit. No, that actually is a bad sign. Um, everything is so smooth, which I don't love. These these seals are kind of they're kind of weird. They're just almost too nice. So it seems like maybe they were created recently, if you know what I mean. The set came out in 2003, so this would be a 21 year old box. Doesn't really feel like it, even though it is unlimited. So maybe maybe it could have come out. I think it's still 2003 when they printed those. But yeah, so everything just feels a little bit off in the back. I mean, everything just looks a little bit too clean. There are a few scuffs and stuff like that, which makes I mean, this just makes me nervous. So this is if I see a box like this, it's never going to be something that I can sell. I wouldn't buy it if I was actually paying attention, but I did. It's an unlimited box, so it wasn't overly expensive and we're not buying at 100 percent. We're getting a little discount because we are buying in bulk and because, you know, when I buy stuff, I'm not going to buy it full price if I'm reselling it and I'm not reselling this, obviously, but but I was going to be trying to. So, yeah, so we got a pretty good deal. It didn't cost that much. So if it is a scam box, it's not the end of the world. Uh, but it would suck. So I'm really opening. We just get to open Labyrinth the Nightmare today, but let's crack into it. Let's see what happens because, uh, yeah, I'm not feeling good about it. Let's, let's make the first cut. Let's give a feeling of the wrap. That could be a, a dead giveaway. Okay. Honestly, this feels pretty good. The wrap does not feel like a scam box. This feels, all right, let, let me open it. It honestly feels better than expected. A lot of times when you open a scam box and it's like super tight, like I was showing, It'll feel crunchy. It'll feel like 
it'll feel completely wrong. This feels, it's too, it's too smooth. That's the problem. Other than that, it doesn't feel that bad, but it's so smooth. I'm still a little worried about it. I don't, I, I'm not feeling good yet. I wanted to do a check like through the, uh, okay, let's crunch it up. That honestly doesn't feel bad. That feels fairly normal. Well, maybe a little, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't want to call it yet, but I wanted to check through here and see if we could see anything when I was doing, uh, when I, before I opened it, I couldn't really see anything. Like try to look through here. It's more of a Pokemon thing because they have such big boxes. They got the 36 pack, the massive amount of cards per pack. So they've got a little bit more room to like look through there. It's kind of hard to do that with a box like this. Okay, let's do the reveal. I'm a little hopeful. I'm a little hopeful. I'm not 100% sure this is fake, but I'm not going to be surprised either. Well, I probably will be surprised if it's legit. Okay, let's see. First impression. Here we go. Oh, okay. Wait. Top two packs definitely look good. If they are not. Oh, wow. I think this might be legit. If they are not uh, like taped or anything. <sighs> this box is real, guys. I think this box is real. Let's pull them all out and check. We might get a 24 pack of Labyrinth of Nightmare today. Okay, I'm legitimately surprised. I did not think that was a real box, which this is exciting. That means I get to open some old school packs today without any guilt, you know, because normally I wouldn't open an unlimited box because it's unlimited, you know, it's like probably shouldn't open this, but at the same time, it's just as fun to open up. So now we just get to open it. I think that, wow, I'm actually surprised. So sometimes, I guess sometimes they can look like that, it could be an unlimited thing. I'm not 100% sure, but I am glad that, uh, I, I don't know. I just feel better about opening it myself when I'm not 100% sure, you know, or at least 99.9 because, .9. you know, with sealed product, you're always not 100, 100% sure, but you can get really, really close uh, to being 100% sure. And this one, I was really like, I was honestly probably like 80% sure it was resealed. So I'm very glad that I was wrong and let's just have a fun opening. Okay, let's open some packs. What do I want to pull? So uh, we could pull the Gemini Elf. That's obviously a big one. We could pull. Let's see what else. Gemini Elf. Um, then in terms of ultras, we got the last warrior. We've got the, the cover card. We've got the Earl of Demise, the gentlemanly creature. Soul of Purity and Light. Rocks and special. Deal of Phantom. Flying Fish. These wishes are granted to those fortunate enough to see this monster in flight. Three wishes, not these. <laughs> Spirit of Flames, actually kind of a great card. It's been used in some Wheeled Goat. If you guys have missed Wheeled Goat, it's been a really great series. We've used a lot of random old school cards like Labyrinth of Nightmare, and it's been super fun. So that's actually a pretty nice card. Lightning Blade. We've got Garuda the Wind Spirit, Winged Beast. Very, very nice. Okay, we have the Chosen One, Anakin Skywalker. Spiritualism. Oh, wait, I did the wrong pack trick. We have Humanoid Slime. That's a pretty cool card. All right, pack number two. I was thinking, I was like, maybe I should save these packs and we could do like a sealed draft or something with these. That would be really fun. But I think, I think I'm just going to open it because I've committed to it already. Because you look, I told you guys already we were going to open it up. So we're going to open it up in this video. I do want to do some old school openings like this, like literally vintage packs uh, and then like doing a battle like we did with Rhyme Style with Retro Pack 1. You guys really liked that video and I really enjoyed doing it. So I was like, that would be fun to do with old school Spirit of Flames. And oh, our first foil, Mask of Dispel. Centering pretty off. It's pushed down quite a bit. That's okay. Unlimited. I will still grade Unlimited if they get PSA 10s. Uh, that one does not look like it. So that one's just going to be a mint copy of an Unlimited card, which is cool. I don't usually give these a sniff, but smell pretty good. Smell pretty good. I'm not. I'm not Sam. I'm not team. Uh, simply unlucky. So, I, you know, we're not. We're not whiffing everything. But you gotta give them. A, you gotta give them a little. Little smell every once in a while. Just to, it's been a while since I've done that. I was like, what's the card smell? You know, it's been such a long time. One, two, three, four. Okay, we have Miracle Dig. We got Lightning Conger, Dancing Fairy, Worm the Rock. We have Empress Holiday. The Gross Ghost of Fled Dreams. This monster feeds on the dreams of an unwary sleeper. Dragging the victim into eternal slumbers. Lady of Salem, we have Dragonic Attack. Nuvia the Wicked. Am I not doing four from the back? What is happening here? Nuvia, this monster is summoned by normal summon. It is destroyed. The attack of this card is decreased by 200 for each monster on the opponent's side of the field. So you literally can't normal summon it and it loses 200 per uh, monster they have. So that card is absolutely terrible. Just play Cave Dragon at that point. Like, at least it's 2k and it like... <laughs> It won't die immediately and it doesn't lose any attack. It can just be a 2k attacker, you know, just to wall up. Dancing Fairy, we have uh, Worm Drake. 
Amazon Archer, the Lightning Blade. Garuda, actually, Garuda has popped off for us in Wheel Goat. It's been a really, really good card. And it has a kind of a crazy effect. I always forget about this. At the, as long as the monster remains phase up on the field, you can change the battle position of one of your opponent's uh, monster cards at the end phase. So that actually mattered at some point. I don't remember which Wheeled Goat episode that was. That's a nice card in Infinite Cards. It was like somebody summoned something too big for me to get over, and then they like pass in main phase two or something. And then Garuda switched it to defense, and we just attacked over it. So it's actually kind of insane. And then if you use it with something like Stumbling, it's like, it's really annoying. One, two, three, four. All right, we have uh, Supply, Blind Destruction, Stroll of Bewitchment, Rocks and Special. The Rock Spirit, Spherous Lady. Many have been deceived by the beauty of this vampire. I'm not really sure. Like, is this like the version after they get deceived? Like, there's like a pretty version and then like they get deceived and then it's like, rah, snake, you know? Cause like, that ain't pretty. That's all I'm saying. Shining Abyss, Mario Kuta, Portrait Secret, an amphibious beast. I don't know what's going on with these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's 10 cards. Wait a second. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I am doing the right pack trick. There's 10 cards in these packs. Okay, maybe we're not 100%. Okay, maybe that's why it was so tight. It's because there was extra cards in the packs. We might not have a resealed box. We might have an error box. This does happen sometimes. If you guys remember the Light of Destruction opening we did with the Retro Pack 2 on whatnot, go check that out, by the way. It was a really good opening. We pulled insane. I was convinced that box was resealed, the Light of Destruction box, because there was a bunch of packs that had the wrong number of cards. One had five cards, one had like 12 cards. Like they were all like all over the place. So one side was thicker than the other. So sometimes when there is a an error in the box it can actually make it feel like a reseal because something is not normal you know what i'm saying so fusion gate that's pretty good so that actually checks out that some of the cards are different revival jam let's go that's the super rare we want very nice okay centering definitely pushed down but that is a sweet card revival jam so classic i love that very minty okay i'm interested to see if we get any more of those uh those packs that we just ran into. Labyrinth of Nightmare, let me know down below, where does Labyrinth of Nightmare rank in your top uh, sets compared to like the original 11? So like, you know, LOB to Ancient Sanctuary. Where does Labyrinth of Nightmare rank? For me, have I ever done a, I did a set tier list of collectability. I guess, I guess you can go find that on Rux and Live. It's a video uh, on my other channel. Uh, we have uh, Offerings to the Doom. Wait, another extra card. Wait, let's count this. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bonus card. That's why that. That's why the the wrapping was so tight. It makes sense. So yeah, one of the. Uh, so I did make it a tier list. So I guess at some point, I think I put it maybe a B tier compared to every set ever in terms of collectability. That has probably changed drastically now, though, with the uh, QCR printing and all the Starlight sets getting absolutely obliterated. Uh, that would be a fun one to revisit. It took forever though, because there's a lot of sets in Yu-Gi-Oh. Dark Door. We have Dream Sprite. Uh, Grave Robber's Retribution, Gadget Soldier, and Spirit of the Breeze. Another rare. That one did not have 10 cards in it. Let's pick it up a little bit. We're taking a while. This might be a longer video because we had the whole part about the, you know, scam box, you know, looking at it, seeing if it was a scam. Turns out it wasn't. See, I think that might be the foil. I'm going to try this. I think there's 10 cards in this pack. Another 10 card pack because that wasn't a rare. Skull Lair, we have Hysteric Fairy. Zombira, this is a really nice card for just generic, you know, generic goat 2100. I'm losing my voice. Boneheimer, one of the best flavor texts of all time. This monster wanders the sea, sucking dry any creatures it may encounter. You gotta watch out for the Boneheimer. He might suck you dry. We have the Unfriendly Amazon. Swordsman of Landstar, classic amateur with a sword. And Tornado Board. Another decent card, return two spell and traps. Now, I mean, returning spell and traps, you know, they can just set them back, but it at least works for one turn, so it's not bad. Okay, we are down to a couple packs left. I cannot believe that's the Boneheimer text. Like, if you've never heard the Boneheimer text, you're probably reeling right now, but yes, that is the real text. Gotta be a translation error, right? I mean, I, I would hope. We have Melkid. We have Summoner Revolutions. And the cover card, Mask of Restrict. Oh, the centering's all the same. It's all pushed down beautiful ultra rare no matter what the situation neither player can offer any monster whoa that's the original text no matter what the situation that is, that is all encompassing right there no matter what the situation that i don't think i've ever read that original text no matter what the situation i don't care what the situation is i don't care 
Who is at your locals? I don't care if John Denver showed up. He might be dead. I'm not 100% sure. But no matter what the situation, nobody's tribute summoning. That's all I got to say. That is a wild... That is a wild text. Okay, that's hilarious. Surely that's changed, right? There's no way it still says, no matter what the situation. I thought it just said, neither player can tribute summon. That's what I thought it said. But no, it doesn't just say that. Okay, this one's messed up as well. Wait, maybe not. I'm going to do that just in case. We have Lady Panther. Grand Tiki, we have Cure Mermaid. I cannot believe the old Yu-Gi-Oh text is so fun. Uh, St. Joan, we have Empress Mantis. Spear Message A. I was right. It was a uh, an extra five cards or an extra eight card, I should say. These see, look how tall these look. I'm pretty sure that we have a bonus card here, or a bonus a uh, few cards, I should say. Basically, like every other pack, it feels like is doing that. Four from the back here, I think is gonna work. We have Deal of Phantom, Flying Fish. It's like the way they separate. They almost separate from the foil slash rare every time. Mask of Weakness, pretty good sealed card. I mean, just a battle trap, gain 700 or decrease 700, I should say. So it kind of works the same way. Uh, Empress Mantis and mask of brutality what is this doing again uh monster cup this card increases attack by a thousand decreases defense by a thousand pay a thousand points wow it's like a really bad axe of despair okay interesting that they printed that it's like a reprint of axe of despair like a couple sets later but it's way worse <laughs> at lower rarity that is strange i am a little confused by the the choices of making that okay unless like you intentionally want to pay your own life points i guess it could be used in that regard or fairy box first time pulling that a card it's a classic earl of demise or if you want to lose defense on purpose deal phantom we have the unfriendly amazon you always got to figure those downsides can be used as an upside in certain situations or certain no matter what the situation you know we have vengeful bog oh and a mage power very nice okay that's a sweet ultra rare i might throw this in my goat box just because like it's not a great go card, but it's a classic card from that era. And like using mage power is just hilarious, especially if you have like Mahavilo or something. So that's a pretty sick one. Two ultras so far. We could technically get three. I'm hoping for a Gemini elf though. That would be super sick. That would be super sick. We're definitely not making much money opening this box because unlimited foils do not go for a ton, uh, even though this doesn't have a reprint. So they might be a little better in Labyrinth of the Nightmare, but uh, still overall, not a crazy amount of money, you know, to pull out of these spirit message in, but because we thought it was a scam box anyway, it's kind of like free money. You know, it's like, I thought I was already out all this money, but now it's like, whatever we pull, we at least get that. So this is fun. This would have actually been uh, mage power would have been a six sealed pull. Like, like, oh yeah, we got the ultra mage power flying fish. Three wishes. Anybody, what are your three wishes? Let me know down below. But if you let me know, then they might not come true. We have lightning blade and Gelosaurus. What does this lightning blade do again? Equip to a warrior type, increases by, wait, what does this say? 800 and decreases the attack of all water monsters by 500. It's like an anti-water equip spell. That is strange. So it's like a 1300 net against water. What water was being played back then? Legendary Fisherman, maybe? I guess that had to be it. Like there wasn't much else, you know, this is only five sets in. So there's not a ton of water out there. Okay, Rock Spirit, we have Flame Dancer. Oh yeah, he has, he's burning rope. We have Fire Sorcerer, the gross ghost. Lady of Salem Flames, there are so many vanillas in this set. It's weird. I feel like there's more vanillas in this set than, oh yeah, speaking of vanillas, the legendary secret rare, and there's another card, it's another error pack, Gemini Elf, and I think that's normal foil, right? That's not a reverse foil. That is a regular old secret rare. That is sick. Okay, we have pulled the big card. Centering is off, unfortunately, but that is a beautiful, minty, unlimited Gemini Elf. That is sick. That'll probably go in the goat box as well. Uh, you know, because like anything, if it's not worth much, I don't, I don't just want to get rid of it. You know, if it's worth like 10 bucks for something like that, probably just rather play with it at some point in good format than like sell it. Uh, so yeah, that's probably what's going to happen. We're just going to throw most of this stuff in the goat box. And if we ever use it, it'll be, you know, we're getting some value out of it, having some fun with it. Because I've just been having so much fun, like playing with, you know, old cards and, and playing uh, on Master Duel, like with Wheeled Goat, that it, it just brings out a whole new appreciation. Like, it doesn't bring it out. Be Three Ultras in a Gemini Elf. Oh my goodness. Not only is this not a scam box, this is the best box ever. Oh my gosh. This is insane. Check this out. Secret Rare. Ultra Rare Last Warrior, Ultra Rare Mage Power, Ultra Rare Mask of a Strike, Revival Jam, best secret or super in the set. Dispels, pretty decent. Holy crap. What a crazy, crazy box. And I ran out of sleeves, by the way. So sorry, Last Warrior. Holy crap. Wait, we need to check out Last Warrior a little bit. Just, 
Check this dude. He's a freaking beast. And these cards are mint too. They're not centered, but they are mint. That is amazing. Okay, so as I was saying, you know, playing with, you know, using the cards, playing with the cards, it it it, re it reminds you of the appreciation from back in the day because like collecting is super fun. You appreciate them in that regard, but you start appreciating so many random things when you play with the cards. Like, uh, not not human and worm drink. You're probably never appreciating that card, except that it's a short print in the set, and Gezi probably has like two of them or something. And we're never gonna appreciate this card either. The L, oh, my throat. <laughs> Taking over. Uh, okay, a few packs left. I'm trying to find an ex a good example for like, I guess Mask of Weakness is a good one. Like, Mask of Weakness is a card I, I never even thought about until you like play with with like random old cards. And you're like, hey, it's a pretty good card actually in this situation. You know, it's actually like uh, it's it, it brings out some good memories, some good moments. Like if you use it to win a duel, it's like that's so that's so sick. You know, so there's some very cool things that have happened with using the wheeled goat and with playing goat format, you know, physically with some people at tournaments and stuff like that, building decks, doing the thing with Rhyme where we, we built a deck out of retro back, all that different stuff brings out a massive appreciation for like random cards. And when you start appreciating random cards as well as collectible cards, as well as high end cards, you just start loving every card ever, you know, and then and then if you don't love it, Jam breeding machine, that's pretty cool. It's because it really sucks. <laughs> Completely useless. And then you kind of love it for that reason. It's just like adorably terrible, you know? Okay. Okay, this this reminder to post a video about Magia has been on the screen for like 10 minutes. So yeah, if that's not my life right now, I don't know what is. Uh, I am working on something cool to do with that, by the way. I'm not gonna tell you what it is, but keep an, keep an eye out. There's gonna be something fun coming up. We have Dream Sprite. We have uh, Earthbound, Grave Robber's Retribution, Gadget Soldier. Jar agreed. Why not? That's a great go card, actually. That that card can be put in a lot of decks. Draw power, baby. Jar agree. That's probably one of the better, like more playable cards out of the set in terms of goat. That's sick. Last pack magic, guys. If you guys have enjoyed the scam box opening, scam slash legit slash error slash insane box, like this is at everything. We started as an error. Then we're like, oh, it actually has packs in it. This is great. Then there was a, like a bunch of weird packs that had 10 cards per pack. And we finished with pulling ridiculous ratios. We have seven foils. We have three ultras. We have the secret rare Gemini elf. I mean, what more get, can we ask for besides you guys subscribing to the channel? So we have 250K coming up very soon. Okay, last pack magic. Do not forget to miss. Not forget to miss. Do not forget to not miss. If you miss it, it's gonna suck. The Stardust Dragon opening on Thursday on whatnot. It's going to be insane. I'm just saying. Go show our first edition. It's gonna happen. I hope so. Earl of Demise, we have a... We have a burp. We have Bodeheimer. Watch out. He's going to suck you dry. We have the unfriendly Amazon. Swords on a land star. Bait doll. Spear message eye. And the bonus card. Grand Tiki Elder. I mean, we really couldn't have asked for more. This was an absolutely insane opening. Shout out to Toe and Fo Show, Ernesto Deanna, America Deutscher, Brandon Chaney, Ian Musa Jr., Barding, Robert F. Chengalang, and Aldelsa Garcia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.